there's really a whole lot I have to talk about based with this latest episode. The latest, I, I would say, is the latest episode was two, which is not the latest, was basically episode two of the Obi-Wan Kenobi, Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, series. Uh, series. Uh, I've had heard rumors that they're planning to make a season two. I will get onto that sometime here, sometime here soon. Because that's from that's from what I've heard. That's from what I've heard. I don't know if, if it has been confirmed or not. If they really are planning to do a season two, and there's other things I definitely do want to talk about, but which I will talk about and and uh, in another in another video because I want to say I want to say I want to say that say that just for for right now. I don't want to mix in mix in too much about what's going on, what's going to happen to the Obi Wan series because I don't want to confuse anyone. So so yeah. But anyway, so like I said, before, there's a lot to basically right here to talk about the Obi Wan episode two uh, uh, of this uh, of of the series of the of the series. Now, it seems kind of it, it seems to me that Obi Wan has not got over the the PTSD that was some people think that think that he does have PTSD, which I do agree. But some people may not may not may not think that way, but it's just, that's just based from what I said, that's just based from what I know. And the reason why some people may, may think like that, you know, even I as for, for myself, is because, you know, everyone has this, you know, has this, you know, uh, reflect, you know, on, um, the reflect on, on, uh, on his, uh, his pattern work, known as, uh, known as, uh, Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker, we all know, like, how he became Vader and stuff like that, and how he betrayed betrayed the Jedi and stuff like that. He thinks that the Jedi, the Jedi, the the Jedi will, you know, basically like lied about this, lied lied about that, and all that other stuff and all all that other stuff, you know, and stuff like that. You know, I kind of felt really bad for Obi Wan, and I really, really did, and I really did. And you could just tell, like Anakin, just just basically he shows that bitter hatred towards towards Obi Wan and to the Jedi also as well too, because he felt like because he felt like. He's being cast out. That's what this. That's basically he felt he he felt this that way. Now I definitely do. I, I don't mean to give a spoiler like this, but I basically the the girl with the black hair. I, I definitely do want to talk about her. The thing I, the reason why I do want to talk about her is because is because that some people probably don't like her because that she's a black Jedi. I don't know. That's from I don't know. That's from what I've heard. I, I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm looking looking um uh what's his name uh Sammy Zach. Samuel Jackson, uh, I do believe that's his name. Uh, Samuel Jackson, I, I do believe that's the same. But anyways, uh, but, uh, anyways, but about him and stuff like that. He's one of I, I don't think he's one of the first black, the first black you know, Jedi that there is. I mean, I don't know. That's just basically what just just basically what I'm saying. So I, mean, I just don't seem to really understand people just getting so upset because you know this girl, you know this woman that she's basically you know like I said before she's black. You know she's she's not she's not really actually Jedi, but she's basically she's really say. Like, Probably a Sith Lord or something like that, or something that I don't I don't know what they call them or anything like that. What back then and stuff like that. But I just did not like some of the comments people were just saying, were just saying you know about her and stuff like that. They wanted her off the series and stuff because some people just did not like her. I don't know. Just I don't know. They it's just because if some people are just being ignorant. You know that's just basically seeing that's basically it seems to me. So I don't know. So I don't know. So I, I figure I just want to talk about that also also well too. Even though even though I do believe I do like her character, I really do. I and mean, she shows she shows that great purpose for in the series in the series of Obi Wan, and she really she really actually does. But I don't know like who was her master. So I don't know who was her master, or maybe Vader must have found her from somewhere else that we really don't even know or something like that. But I'm not one hundred percent sure. Like if Vader is the one, if Vader is the one, Darth Vader is is really the one that you know helped train her or or any of these other guys and stuff like that. Even though she killed, she killed one guy, and I mean I'm serious, I'm not gonna lie, she killed one one guy, and I was very shocked about that. It was like almost at the close, almost at the close of the ending, also as well too. You could just tell like she has the the red uh, red saber and, and stuff, and then she's like bam like that, you know, and she killed the ball headed guy that has like. You know, tattoos on his forehead, his, his heads like like in white and stuff like that. I, I don't know. I, I think that's just to really just to show like what he looks like or something like that. I I, I don't know. I I don't know all about that kind of stuff. I'm just I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now I definitely do want to talk about this also as well too. This is what really shocks me the most about about what episode two of the Obi Wan, where Obi Wan just has uh, basically you know he needs to go save. Uh, 
save uh, save the princess means Leia means Leia, and you know I, I was quite very shocked and surprised that but the actor you know who's basically playing as Leia, I was quite very impressed and can, because I mean uh, that must have taken a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of time to just to process through those scenes and stuff like that and you know so seeing like seeing like Obi Wan just interact with Leia interact with Leia even though his job was to to not not to kidnap but basically just to, to basically get Leia get her back where she belongs and stuff like that because there's a lot of people it's not only a lot of people are looking for Overwatch. I mean a lot of people are because he's a he's a Jedi and even though yeah he, even though he is a, he's a Jedi some people may see him and stuff like that you know if you've seen Je if you've seen Overwatch, you look, you will tell us where where he's at and stuff like that because because you know, Overwatch has a big bounty on his forehead uh on his forehead means that he's gonna means that he's gonna gonna die which which i don't think he's really he's not because we all know what happened back in episode one uh, not episode one no, episode three of the new home we all know about that which that was kind of sad kind of sad but I, I would like to see him more and more especially in uh basically you know and and you know basically in five and six you know it's that that's just my opinion that's just my opinion but i still think it was just very very sad and you know i definitely do want to talk about more about obi-wan because obi-wan when obi-wan found out found out that Darth Vader, that Darth Vader is Anakin, and Anakin is Darth Vader. Owen was Owen was pretty shocked about this, but even though, just like I said, basically earlier in this in this video, that would you know basically, Owen he does have PTSD. Some people may not see see it that way. Some people may disagree with me on that. I, I it doesn't really matter to me something like that because I I don't know that much really Star Wars really all that much. Even though I love the series it's with that. Because I know I know there's like there's a bunch of series out there that like this is what's gonna it's gonna do, you know, adapting other different things and stuff like that. I, I know a YouTuber I can't remember his name, I think his name is Mike Soda or something like that. I think his name is Mike Soda or something like that. He's very, very good. I really like the guy. He says a lot of good things about, about Star Wars, about what space is going on and stuff like that. I don't know where he's finding this all this information from. But I could just assume I can just assume that this guy is you know, he loves Star Wars. I mean, everybody loves Star Wars. Everybody really does and stuff like that. But, you know, I mean, some people do like, some people do like Obi-Wan. I like Obi-Wan, but I like Luke better. Because, you know, because Luke is just basically just the pitiful of the character of basically what he really actually is. You know, there was just no, there was just no way, there's just no way, you know, and he could not be very strong as Vader is. Even though, however, that, that was, uh, I do believe that was wrong. And, I do believe that Luke was was much more powerful than Vader was. Even though Luke did not want to go up against his father, he does not want to. He does not want to do that. And the reason why he does not want to do it because he feel, because he feels that because he feels that he doesn't want to kill his father because that that's something that's just something that Luke wouldn't didn't want to do. You know, even though Luke he's a Jedi just like a, just like his father before him, a uh, uh, Vader. You know. Uh, I still have not given the reviews for the uh, episode one, uh, not episode uh, three, four, and five. No, no f four, five, and six. Excuse me. I have not given uh, reviews out there for that. But you know, and you know, when when they first found out, like you know, Obi Wan first found out, like Vader's alive, and so he, you know, Obi Wan was just like I said before, he has PTSD. I know some people are just going to disagree with me on this, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm so sorry for repeating myself, but I'm just I'm just saying that's just basically what I'm just saying. And stuff. No, I just also want to talk about also also what too. But the whole entirety of the series, people are just not very happy with the series. And from what I've heard from Mo, uh, not not Mo, I mean Mike Z Mike Zoda, whatever his name is. Um, the ba the basic the thing is the basic thing is that you know they want to do a remake on on the uh the Obi Wan the Obi Wan series. And I've heard that the guy named Bob, who's the CEO of the company of Disney, fired the director and. I'm quite shocked about that. And when fans are unhappy, fans are unhappy. I mean, just look at it like this. Just look at it like this. I understand that Disney owns the right of Star Wars, but how are they don't own really majority of all of it because George Lucas still gets his he still gets paid for you know based for his Star Wars and stuff like that. Even though I mean, I just I just think I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that. The same thing to be mean in regards about what I'm going to say here about with Disney and stuff like that. I just think I just think that George Lucas should not have ever you know just should not have ever you know signed that contract, given away the series, and it's it's really sad. It's very, very sad, and maybe George Lucas did not like the, what way was where it was going to go. I don't know if George Lucas is going to 
basically beg Disney just to separate themselves from from Disney or, or not. I don't know what's really going to happen. And I, I don't know. I guess Disney is, is I guess the, the Star Wars series is, is basically here to stay with Disney. I, I don't know. That's just basically what, that's just basically what I think. And I, it's just like basically all these complaints and stuff like that, basically what in regards, in regards to you know, Star Wars series and stuff like that. There's a lot of sensitive fans out there, which I'm not, which I'm not, which I'm not. But it's just some people are just goes well, be, well behind, just actually just trashing the series and stuff like that. And I don't, I know there's hardcore fans out there. I do respect that, but I just don't think it's just not right. Just, it's just not right. You know, people just be so ballistic and just be so mean about because you know what happened in basically in, in Star Wars and stuff like that. But even though, even though, I, I like Episode Two. Episode Two was definitely was pretty good. It was definitely pretty good. It really was. And you know, even though there's you know, basically, one people uh, you know, where uh, Obi Wan was just basically like asking, asking around, "Where is the Jedi? Is, is there a Jedi right, right around here? Where is he? Where, where is he at?" So he, he got introduced to the scam guy, introduced to the scam guy, and you could just tell, you could just tell, yeah, this scam guy, he's not a Jedi, because I, I know, I just, I just basically, I just know, like, look at him, because the way he has, he's, he's talking with some of these people, and like, you know, basically. Believe in what the what what they're going through and, and, and stuff like that. You know, this guy is not no not no Jedi. That's one thing. That's one thing. I just really just kind of did not like about that person being in that episode. I just don't know why they serve a purpose for him being there in the first place. But even though he said, that even though he helped Leia and also Obi Wan to to basically to basically you know help them to escape and stuff like that. So so yeah, um, I'm probably going to review episode three. And then I'll probably review the rest probably sometime tomorrow, or maybe tonight. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see, because uh, I that's just that we're just gonna have to wait and see. I don't know, but I definitely do want to talk. I definitely want to talk about in the whole of this Disney with Star Wars and stuff like that. Is really Star Wars is really is is the Obi Wan series going to get a remake? I don't know. I would love to see George Lucas do it because I think I think he should. And you know, there's there's not really a whole lot, but I I don't know. Or maybe Disney probably doesn't want George Lucas to do that. I, I don't I don't know I really don't know I just I'm just gonna have to wait and see what really is gonna go that so so yeah but uh yeah uh so yeah and was that's that's it for for this view uh tell me what you guys think do you guys think I missed some 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 things I I just didn't say or something like that or something I'm really kind of curious what would you guys say I have not been able to be to be catched up on the series I have not I've just been very busy with other different things so I want to apologize for that so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to do what I can. And to stay on top of the services for that, so, all right, so yeah. Anyways, uh, like I said before, tell me what you guys think, think, think down below. Give me a comment down below. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Hope you guys one day. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And please hit the notification bell. Also, too, so let me know you guys watch my videos. And like I said, for leave a comment below. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Hope you guys one day. Take care. God bless. Remember, just love you. I love you guys. Please be safe. And remember, stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.